Hey, wanna play Freedom Agents? Playing is super easy. First, I tap on an agent to activate it. Its timer starts running. I tap on another agent to activate the agent and its timer. I go back to the first agent. I tap it again. And now I can move my agent by tapping its destination. I do the same back and forth with other agents. I now surround a slave with four agents. I tap on an agent and I tap it again to link them all. Finally, I tap on the crosshair on top of the slave to free it. Level completed. Alternate tapping between active agents, keeping their timer in mind. Surround a slave with four agents. Tap on an agent and tap it again to link them. And finally, tap on the slave to make it break free. And that's it! Tap alternate agent, tap alternate agent, Tap alternate, tap alternate, tap alternate, tap alternate, tap alternate, and always within the time limits of your agents. Hey. Oh, and if there are blocking obstacles on the way of your agents, just place two agents around the obstacle. Tap on an agent and tap it again to link them. And finally, tap on the block and destroy the obstacle. And watch out! If the timer of any of the agent runs out, they lose their freedoms and go numb. If the timer runs out again while numb, they become slaves that need to be rescued. If the number of agents falls below 4, you lose. Did you miss the time limit and got one of your agents numb or static? Just position another agent diagonally adjacent, tap on an agent and tap it again and again. Then tap on the static agent and transfer the moving ability to make it move one time. Simple! You tap to activate agents, tap to move them, tap tap to link them, tap tap to destroy obstacles, tap 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 to pass skills to other agents, and tap to release people from slavery, all within a limited time. Which is exerting the freedom of speech, freedom of movement, freedom to associate, freedom to negotiate, and the ability of solving problems together. As you progress in the game, you will have a tighter time limit to interact with your agents, and you will find many more slaves to free and more obstacles to clear. And on top of that, levels will puzzle you with their setting, making it impossible to succeed if you don't get the correct strategy from the start. But worry not, there are resources to make your life easier. Read short texts about liberalism and answer questions correctly to get power-ups. Use these power-ups when one of your agents turns grey and numb to restore its freedoms and get it moving again. You can also share the fun images and texts on social media to obtain replays and repeat levels as if they had never happened. And if the timers of your agents are about to run out, you can answer a quick question to add a few additional seconds to all of your agents in the level and avoid losing their freedoms. And every agent you free is an agent that you can use and take into new levels you unlock. To make sure you always have at least four agents to interact with and can continue playing even if you lose one of your agents. Experience one of the several endings depending on the number of agents you have at the very last level. Freedom Agents Defeat the Dictator by Exerting Your Freedoms Freedom Agents